Hello, my name is Kate and here is another Come Dine With Us. Yay! It's returned. So we did series one and we did start as main and pudding each, me, you and, and Luke. And then we said if the last one got to a thousand likes, we will bring it back. So here it is. And the last one we did, all the proceeds are going to be donated to NHS charities as well. So that was lovely. So thank you if you watched that video and if you watched the adverts as well because then more money was raised. So I hope you're okay, sending love to everyone. We're back to the start again. So I am doing starters and I'm gonna be making something really tasty. So I'm gonna be making samosas, curry puffs, curry puff samosas, and they're gonna be vegetarian. Lee kind of wanted to do chicken ones. And then I thought we've made like a meat course every time. So we'll do a veggie option this time. So vegetarian samosa -y curry puffs, and I can't wait to eat them with probably a little side salad. And now let's find out what Luke is gonna be making for the main course. Hi guys, so my name is Luke and I am taking care of the main course this week. I'm gonna be making some form of pasta dish. It's gonna be a spicy fagola pasta, which is like an Italian style with lots of chili. And I'm gonna be making a very delicious sweet honey cocktail. Ewan is gonna be doing the pudding tonight. Night. Last time his pudding was so funny. He made that cheesecake with caramel biscuits and it was it was rock hard. I think he actually needed a hammer to um I think did he even use a hammer at one point? I think he might have done. We were watching it, Toby's laughing. So yeah, Ewan is on pudding, so it'll be interesting to see. Mind you, I can't talk, I burnt my meringues, so I'm I'm no better. Um, so yeah, that is uh let's hear from Ewan and find out what he's making. Hello, I'm Ewan and for dessert I'm going to be making a naughty jelly pot and an emergency banana surprise. And that is what we're making, so welcome along to this YouTube dinner party and you are the guests of course. You can also score us if you want to. I think, I don't even know who won the last series, it must have been Luke and then probably you and, and then I was probably last, which is fine because cooking isn't Cooking is one of my skills, so I don't mind, but we'll see. If you want to score as you can, you can give us marks out of 10. It's completely up to you. You don't have to. You can just say, yay, I enjoyed it. Anyway, I'm going to start. Get on with the... No, I'm not. I need to do my mug of the day. I need to make a cup of tea. Hang on. I'm just going to make a cup of tea, and I'll be right back. And I've just made myself a tea. I've got a strawberry and mango fruit tea, and it's boiling hot, so it's steaming away. And Luke actually got me this as a Christmas present. It's really cute. It's, I think it's from Sass and Bell. Yeah, Sass and Bell mug. And he sent this in the post and it was lovely receiving it. So hi Luke, hi Ewan, thanks for my mug. And obviously it has a K on for me, Kate, and this is my mug on for the day. So I'm not gonna drink this, I'm just gonna put it down here and have it in a bit. And I'm gonna show you the ingredients um, that we're gonna be using to make the curry pie vegetable samosa Puff, samosa, puff, curry pie, puffs. It's not curry pie, is it? It's not curry pie, it's curry puffs. Puffs, puffs. Oh, I'll just go. And I almost forgot to tell you about our theme. So these Come Dine With Us videos are gonna have a different theme each week. And tonight's theme is using it up. So we couldn't buy anything new. We had to use up what's in our... Oh, have they gone off? <laughs> Lee's just uh, found the onions that have gone mm. off. Can you still use them? Can't we plant it them? goes through the middle, I think. So I think if you just chop the middle out, and use what's around it, it, I think we'll be right. Doesn't look good. We'll be right. The onions have grown hair. So yeah, we're going to use up what we have in our cupboard. So we're not going to buy anything new. And I have to use up. I'll show you one of the ingredients, then I'll get everything we else. We need one onion. We'll get one onion. Do you reckon? We can... yeah. Did you use them recently, Lee? Um, yeah, they're not that old. Oh, okay. Okay, um, I'm going to show you this quickly because we had this in our fridge from before when I was going to, when I did a curry pie, if you watched our last come dine with me, us, me, us, you know, the one from before, and I used phyllo pastry, but I also bought puff pastry just in case because I didn't really know what I was doing. So we're going to be using this and making our curry puff pie samosas, no, curry samosas out of puff pastry. And this is just, just roll, just, just roll, just roll. I've never just rolled before. Have you just rolled? Let me know in the comments. It's already rolled, so I just need to just roll it. <laughs> and we found the recipe on YouTube, so I just searched for vegetable samosas with puff pastry. And I will link that video in the description, just in case you want to watch like a proper video of making what we're making. So that'll be linked in the description. So Lee is just grabbing all the ingredients and then I'll put them down on here and show you what we're gonna be um, using. Hello, you can eat me, I'm safe. Oh, I just did a Google to check 
you, some people like the taste of me and I won't hurt you and I won't poison you. I've got some hair. I've only got a small little shoot coming out of me, so I'm glad they can use us. Uh, yeah, so if you're wondering if you can use vegetables when they look strange, make sure you Google, because don't let us go to waste. So it looks like we will be using these onions after all, which is good news. Very good news. Yeah. Isn't it, Toby? Look. Yeah, they said it. <laughs> <laughs> and to make these vegetable samosas, you will need plain flour, the puff pastry. We've got some chopped garlic and chopped ginger, the very lazy you know, what are they called? Little bottles. Are they bottles? Oh. Jars, that's the thing. Some vegetable stock, obviously you can use the little cubes. Some sprouted onions, which are apparently safe to use, which is good to hear. Salt and pepper, turmeric, garam masala, curry powder, eggs, and then, oh, Rufus, potatoes. And we're gonna be using these mixed vegetables as well, so all of these. And we bought them a while ago actually, so they were just in our freezer, so we're using those up. I'm just peeling the potatoes and chopping them in half and into quarters. And then once they're parboiled, we'll chop them up again because I don't want them to, to disintegrate. The potatoes are boiling and Lee is chopping the onions. How are they? Um, they look fine, don't one they? Was okay. Oh, is one bad? No, you just take the little bits out of the middle. I've just put some fry light in the pan. The onions are sizzling away and we have to cook these for six minutes until they are golden. Cook till you're golden, golden. Da, 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 da. What are you doing? I'm just sizzling onions, sizzling, sizzling, sizzling onions. I'm far boiling potatoes, sizzling onions, far boiling potatoes. Turning golden, lovely onions. Lee is chopping some ginger about a tablespoon, did you say? Um, yeah. About it's going to be grated, but if you use proper ginger, but we've got cheaper ginger. Okay. So I'm just chopping up some more. Okay, thank you. Adding the garlic to the onions. Okay. Oh, adding the ginger <laughs> to the onions. And it's meant to be two cloves of garlic, so we're doing two tablespoons, are we? Mm, no, probably about one tablespoon. One tablespoon. I reckon probably a bit more than a clove. Yeah. Okay, lovely. The potatoes are parboiled, and we're just going to cut them a bit smaller, so they're kind of into little cubes. I'm just chopping potatoes. Chop, chop, chopping potatoes. I'm just chopping potatoes. Chop, chop. Chopping potatoes. Half a tablespoon of, is that just curry powder? And then half a teaspoon of garam masala. Turmeric. Nice and bright. Oh, <laughs> it smells amazing already. I'm just sizzling onions. And we're now adding the vegetables. And we're now putting the potatoes in. We think you've got too many though. It might be too bitter. I just think put them all in. Go on, shove them in. Yeah. There you go. I have to mix this all together. We're just adding the vegetable stock and it's said to have 80 mils of water. Hello. I just got you at this angle and we've just put some flour down here and then we're going to get the puff pastry. I've got one egg in here that's been mixed and we're going to add that to the pastry at the end. So I've cleaned obviously the surface. We pop this down here and there we've sprinkled and there and we sprinkle some flour all over it. Gonna roll this a bit flatter. Oh. So I'm just gonna add some of the mixture to the middle. Yeah. Okay. Can you fold it? Do you reckon that's enough? Try one. that one. Yeah, I think if you put too much I'll just I'm going to do the same for these three and then we're going to roll this and see if we can make any more. We rolled this out. <laughs> Look at the state of that. Can save it. We rolled it out too thin. We should have just kept it as it was, I think. Little funny pie. We'll save it. It's okay. There you go. There it's like you a go. funny little pie. A bit of that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh no. That's right, we got it, we got it, we got it. I'm gonna put loads more flour down. This one's got too much stuff in it. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is gonna be the best one, I reckon. And we've made five samosas, we thought we'd make millions, but 
obviously only get one bit of puff pastry and then I'm just gonna brush on the egg on top. Is that what you do just all over? Yeah. With my little brush. Oops, <laughs> that one's terrible. This one's good. I think the last one I made is gonna be the best, this one here. And once I've done this, they're gonna go in the oven for about 15 minutes. We're gonna keep an eye on them because we've got an arga. So sometimes it speeds up the cooking, but I think that'll do. Now they're gonna go into the arga. I am now covered in flour, which is a good job because we're gonna go and get changed. So yeah, they're in the oven for 15 minutes and I'm gonna go and put a posh brock on do maybe a bit more makeup. And I'm just choosing what to wear. So I've got this beautiful dress, this lovely pink one from Joni. So I might wear that. Or do I go for a red dress? And I've decided to go for the red dress. I thought, oh, it might be too much. And I thought, no, it's exactly what we need. So I've got my red Joni dress on. I got on the sale. I think it was like 12 quid or something. And I'm going to put my shoes on. Oh. Because, um, because why not? I'm gonna do the whole, I'm gonna wear some shoes. And these were from a charity shop, they're only four quid. And they've got mud on them because I've been um, pottering around the garden wearing heels. Not like, I you know, I did some photos, but I was, you know, taking photos and now they've got, they've got mud on them. It doesn't really matter, no one's gonna see, but I told you anyway. So I'm gonna put these on, get our samosas, and then we can, hopefully they're not burnt, they're fine. And we shall head out to the greenhouse we can eat them! Yay! Put the shoes on. And here they are, the samosa uh, curry puff things. They do look a bit strange. They don't look like samosas that I know, but I'm sure they'll taste delicious. That one, look, it's all, it's all open. I'm going to take this one in the corner. I like the look of that. And then we'll head out. Let's go to the greenhouse and relax, eat the samosa, enjoy our starters and have a nice glass of rosé. Hello and welcome to the greenhouse. You might have already seen this in some other videos that I've done because we recently made it over. It is now time to eat the samosas. Samosas? The samosa, I've only got one obviously, is looking lovely because if I had more than one, it would spoil my mane. And you know, what would happen? Luke, Luke wouldn't be very happy with me, so I've just got one. And I've got some salad as well. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm gonna have a glass of Italian blush. I've not actually had a box of wine before. I'll put it here so you can see. I'm sure my mum did when I was younger. My dad, I can't remember. Do you just push that? Oh, look at that! I feel like I'm looking at a cow or something. Oh, this is, this is lovely. Okay, that shall do me. Oh, that was easy. I thought it'd be really tricky. Oh, right, okay. Have you got yourself a drink? Cheers, everyone. Here we go. Cheers! Let me just try this. Might be awful wine, hang on. No, it's really, oh, that's really nice. It says dry and fruity, and I didn't used to like dry wine, but that's really nice. Mmm. Mmm. I like that. There's three bottles worth in there. And once open, stays fresh for six weeks. I don't think it'll last that long. Right, okay, now it's time to eat. <coughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. I don't know. Anyway, right. Chuck that. Don't need that. I won't try the salad. I'll have that at the end. It's time to open the samosa. Open a samosa? I mean, cut it open, that's what I mean. Here we go, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside as well. Oh, puff pastry is good. I've never ever made anything with puff pastry before. Just showing you close up what it looks like. How good is that? The pastry is perfect. Okay, now it's time for the taste test. We'll come back over here. Oh, okay. Ah. Posh dress in the garden. Toby saw me and went, well, you look nice, mummy. I was like, I know, where are you off to? Just the garden, just the greenhouse with my box of wine, my samosa, and my salad. Okay, oh, I've got some, some of the beans on. Eh, may beans, eh, there may be, there may beans. They're good for you. Oh, we've got one. Mmm. That is really nice. You're definitely gonna make these again. They are absolutely delicious. Maybe we'll use phyllo pastry next time, but obviously we're just using what, what we had and we just had puff pastry. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, make sure you subscribe, and you've got to now go over and have your main course with the lovely Luke Catlow. And then after that, head to you and Mr. Carrington for your pudding. So I hope you're not too full. That's why we only had one each because I didn't want you to get too full for Luke. And their um, videos will be linked in the description box as well. So just click there on Luke's 
have a lovely main course. Congrat congratulations. Thank you for joining us on our dinner party and I will speak to you very and I and I will speak to you very soon. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Cheers. Bye.